If you have the KHU 11 mobile app, you were the first to learn this morning about the federal government's first Atlantic hurricane season outlook. Noah released it earlier today, just nine days before the official start of the season. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist David Paul joining us. David, Noah is predicting a not so nice season but it's only bad if you get hit. Yeah, and these numbers were just released this morning. Uh, their forecast uh, validates all the other forecasts that we've seen coming out uh, since April uh, that we think this may be a very busy hurricane season. KHOU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez takes a moment, helps us break it down and why you need to be paying attention now. Of note, the forecast for named storms, hurricanes and major hurricanes is the highest NOAA has ever issued for the May outlook. And with that strong statement, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, releases most aggressive first hurricane prediction yet, 17 to 25 named storms. Eight to 13 of those are predicted to become full-fledged hurricanes. And of those hurricanes, four to seven are projected to be major, meaning category three strength or higher. So there could be a, many storms like we're predicting, but it's that, that one that reaches you and, and that could be a, a busy season. So we never uh, need everybody to be completely prepared. The head of the National Weather Service, Ken Graham, echoes what everyone in the weather community has been saying since the first forecast came out in April. The time to prepare is now. With record sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic and a transition to La Nina pattern expected this summer, the National Weather Service director says storms can be faster and intensify quickly. The big ones are fast. Every Category 5 storm that made landfall in, in the United States in the last 100 years, ready? It's a tropical storm or less three days prior. But the biggest message today in NOAA's forecast release, no matter the category strength, every land falling storm will have an impact. Remember, it's about the impacts, not the category. And everyone's heard me say that a lot. The Saffir Simpson scale measures the wind, right? But it's, it's actually those, those other impacts. It's the water. And it is the water, and we know that all too well here in Houston. Director Graham says between 2013 and 2023, 90% of storm fatalities were because of water, and more than half of those deaths due to excessive rainfall and inland flooding. David? And of course, one of the big reasons why they believe we're going to have a busy hurricane season is what's behind you right now, uh, uh, Chris. The sea surface temperatures are even now well above normal. Definitely, we're seeing those uh, temperatures in the upper 80s, and it only takes 80 degrees for those uh, to fuel those tropical storms and those tropical cyclones. So we're already seeing warm conditions across the Gulf of Mexico as of now. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for helping to break it down. And it's interesting, uh, even right now, we're not officially in hurricane season, but there is a spot out here in the open Atlantic where the Hurricane Center says there's a 10% chance for something tropical to develop here. Looking at the models, even if something does develop out here, it would stay out here, so no threat to land. But just a reminder, the hurricane season is literally right around the corner, and so is the